I wanted to see if I could automate virtual machine deployments. But to make this challenge more interesting, I've set a few rules. Rule number one, I can use my laptop, but I'm not allowed to use any of my other computer. That means I'm gonna have to figure out how to create a free lab environment somehow. Rule number two, I can use any automation technology I want as long as it's VMware Orchestrator. If you'd like to learn how to use Power CLI to do automation, check out this video. And finally, rule number three, my budget for this challenge is zero dollars. I promise to publish the results of this challenge. If I fail, that means I'm gonna look like a total idiot in front of nearly 3,000 subscribers. No pressure. Some viewers may experience side effects such as learning how to develop workflows, create orchestrator endpoints, and build multi-server lab environments. You're going to learn valuable skills and techniques from this challenge. And as an added bonus at the end, I'll show you how to create custom input form. So let's get started. First things first, we need some sort of lab environment. Um, we could build that a variety of different ways. Uh, for example, we could use some sort of public cloud like AWS, but remember my budget. All right, so um, where can I go to build a vSphere environment? Well, here's one place. We could go to labs.hol.vmware.com. These are the hands-on labs. The hands-on labs contain a catalog of numerous different labs that you can spin up on demand. Each of those labs is designed to teach you about different VMware products and technologies. So why don't we see if we can go find one? Well, you can go searching through the, the catalog, whether you have an account or not, but I have an account, so why don't I log in? Because I not only want to look for these labs, I want to actually enroll in one and fire one up. So I'm going to click on login, and let's see, I'll log in as my account. I'll click continue, and I'll type my password. Let's click login, and I'm logged in. Let's go see if we can find a suitable lab environment. Since I want to use orchestrator workflows, why don't we search for orchestrator? Ah, this one looks promising because it says it includes ARIA automation, and it specifically says that it includes orchestrator. So why don't we click on enroll to in... Wait a sec. Oh no, it's retired. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, good news. Uh, this older lab that's been retired has a replacement. Um, and that, oh, good. this is good. This is a good thing. This other lab environment includes VMware Cloud Foundation, uh, also known as VCF. Um, the reason why that's good is because VCF includes vSphere and, and NSX and VCF operations and VCF automation and orchestrator. So this one sounds real promising. Why don't we search for that specifically? All right, so I search for it again. This one's retired, this one's retired. Where's the one we're looking for? Aha, this one here, VCF automation, becoming a power user. That sounds promising. Let's go ahead and enroll in it. And we'll give this a few moments to start our new lab environment. And just like that, less than a minute later, we've got a live lab environment that we can work with. All right, we're off to a great start. We've got our lab environment set up, but next we need to figure out the credentials. Join me in the next video and we'll tackle those credentials.